traveling man Left the mama crying with the head in the hand Just a sad case Broken hearted There's an ordinary story About the way things go Around and round Nobody knows what the highway Hi, and welcome to this edition of Arts Up Close. My name is Meg Beatty Patrick, and Arts Up Close is brought to you by TV34 Montclair, Comcast Cable, and Verizon Fios. Today, our guests are John Finnegan and Andy Sandell. We're so happy to have you guys on the show. Thanks for coming on. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to be here. Well, good. It's good to have you. Now, you're both obviously musicians, and you're going to play. Why would you well, think so? <laughs> <laughs> These are just props, that's all. <laughs> And you're so well known and really beloved in the Montclair community. At least in our own mind. <laughs> you put on a That's wonderful a show. Thing. Sometimes you have a huge band, and sometimes it's just different variations of Finnegan's. Sure. In so, yeah. So Let's it's uh, um, we play with a few guitar players. Mikey Farrar, who owns Valley Road Guitars on Valley Street, uh, Valley Road, and uh, uh, Kenny Elwood, who's uh, an attorney with the firm that I'm with, and uh, Pat Patty, Patty Boy Gallagher, who's from Manhattan, and. Um, Various bass players, various drummers, and we play in all kinds of combinations. For example, tonight it's just the two of us, and other times it's uh, Pat and Kenny and I, and other all kinds of combinations. Yeah, I know just about it because, as you'll hear, they deliver. They really deliver. How did you get your? We call him the mailman. The mailman. <laughs> How did you get you know your start in music? Well, first let's take it. You know, where are you from, Andrew? Uh, Andrew or Andy? Uh, Andy. Uh, Andy. Okay. Yeah, originally from Jersey City, uh -huh. but now why I live in, in St. Town, John, Cedar Grove. Okay. About two blocks away. And but your music scene is all Montclair centric. Yeah. Um. Yeah. The majority. Yeah. yeah. And do you play in any kind of bands, any kind of other bands yeah, besides a this? A couple of uh, Italian duos. Yeah. Oh, you do? Yeah, and they do some uh, cocktail work on piano. Very cool. Anything, any concert bands? In oh, yeah, that's, oh, that was the hint. Yeah, <laughs> I play the flute with the uh, Montclair community It'll be okay. band. <laughs> you do play the yes, flute with right, the Montclair community? Yeah. Okay, now the Montclair community band has a concert. How often is that, that they do that? Uh, in the summer, they have three. Okay. And uh, during the... The season, I'd say about three, three or four. And you're also yeah. a flute teacher? Yeah. That's yeah well, that's, I'm a retired flute teacher uh, from the public school system. No kidding. Yeah, I just retired two years ago. Wow, so accordion, so flute, the and piano. <laughs> 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 it was time to go. <laughs> How interesting. Yeah. So, and what about you, John? How, when did, what's your background with music? Um, well, uh, we never really had music at home. But when I was about uh, maybe eight or nine, my older sister, my late sister Patty, had a, uh, a party. She was probably 15 or 16 at the time. And, and a kid came with a, a Gibson guitar and played Everly Brothers music. And I was just enthralled by it because I'd never seen anybody play guitar. And maybe a few years later, a friend of mine, Jerry O'Connor from Roselle, uh, um, said, I'm learning how to play guitar. And he had about a year on me. So um, when I was about 13, I started playing with him. And then from there, we had bands. And the, the first gig I ever had was probably the most people that I ever, ever played in front of was a few thousand people at a, at a, a carnival in Roselle. Wow, that was your first gig uh, in front man, of... Man, was I nervous. Wow. <laughs> I picked the start at the time. Yeah, right. But <laughs> that's why you're so good with big crowds. Is I that mean, what it is? Probably, because you got it all out on the first <laughs> shot. <laughs> wow, that's yeah. impressive. Yeah, it was, yeah. Now, what kind of... You've done a lot of, uh, you know, gigs in town that have been fundraisers and benefits, and do you want to mention any of those, or do you have any coming up? Well, we pl we've played at, at various things. Um, um, Greg Spinelli and I are starting to talk about doing something uh, for 9-11. As you know, this is going to be the 10th anniversary, and uh, I'm slated to play uh, for Tapestry Restaurant on Sunday, September 11th, and uh, I've been mentioning to him that we should do something uh, and we're not clear what it is we'll probably start talking about it over the next couple of days but that, I think that'll be real big um, yeah it will you know, be but Andy and I play at Fitzgerald's we play uh, nearby we play at uh, Tierney's on occasion we play um, uh, I've done Takio's uh, library play the fine open library. mic which yeah. you can also see here on TV 34 right. We also did that relief uh, for Katrina. Didn't that's right. That, that, that was a community in church. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we've done a bunch of different things. We did something for Haiti uh, right. a year ago. Was that at Hat City Kitchen? No, that was at um, a church in Montclair. Oh, okay. Yeah, there were so many benefits for Haiti. Right. 
And you're also involved with Parents Who Rocker now. Yes. yes. You are. Yes. And Alma Schneider. <laughs> All the shows come back to <laughs> Alma Schneider. Um, that's We're really... We're new to that, too. Yeah. As I, very, so that's a lot of fundraising opportunities, too. Mm -hmm. Well, you guys are a good time and a good show. So you so play... You well, everybody says. <laughs> um, and so you've... What, are, what is on the horizon for the future? <laughs> we're going to keep doing what we're doing. Yeah, I, um, yeah. I don't have any illusions about my music. You know, it is. I have fun doing it, and um, I like to surround myself with people who have, have a similar taste in music, and um, I like to keep it as loose as possible, yep. but also structured as possible, mm -hmm. so that the music is not just just um, a, a volume of sound, but that that the music rises and falls and depending upon what's called for and what part of the song. You know, the, Hopefully we can get enough good vocals to, to really uh, round out the sound. I like to do Louisiana stuff. We like to do, we even do some Tex-Mex polkas right. and things like that. So we, we like to do a diversity of music. Um, That's very cool. Yeah. Well, what's nice is when you uh, perform any, any variety or uh, iteration of Finnegan and Friends, you're very inclusive. You bring people up, you bring, you know, and it becomes a sort of and most a of the party. Time it works. It works. <laughs> yeah, it always works. And well, I wouldn't yeah. say, I well, wouldn't say all okay. the time. <laughs> <laughs> most of the time it works. It's really special. And so you, uh, you know, being very community minded and civic minded as you are and being, you know, you guys are, you're, you're always looking for philanthropic <coughs> opportunities. And would you say Montclair is more of an epicenter than the other towns for the arts, and that's why most of your activity with music is here? Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah definitely. There's a, we've met uh, a lot of people. I, I started playing the open mic at Tierney's, and that was the first time I played out solo since the early 70s. Wow. In 2004, a, a good friend of ours, Rocky, said, you should go over and, you should go over and meet Mike Ferrar. He's, uh, he runs an open mic. That's just for you. And so I got up there and just started playing, and, and I've met dozens and dozens and dozens of of good people and good players here, and, and the, the scene is just wonderful. That's great. And I tell you, I, you know, I've been playing a, a lot of different venues, you know, from like uh, from weddings to uh, cocktail work to disco. And I tell you, I got it playing disco? with John. Yeah, I, I'm even disco. But uh, playing with John has been the best. I've been, I think, what you about two and a half years now. Yeah. I met him yeah, we met a fundraiser. Yeah, we had a fundraiser. Fund right. Isn't that something? Drive. That's yeah. where you meet the best musicians. Yeah. The one that Pete and, uh, Pete and uh, Bernie do in, in yeah. Little Falls. Right. Yeah, oh, that. music in the yard. Yeah, yeah. But this was indoors, and um, Andy was there with his at that time band, and I saw an accordion on the stage. I didn't I had no clue who had played it or how he played. I said, Oh, who plays the accordion? I, uh, come and play a song yeah. with me. Right. And then we've been playing together ever yeah. since. That Great is experience. so awesome. Um, we're so excited to hear you. We're going to do some covers, is what you do, and yeah, yeah. really good covers. What, what's Songs the genre? That most people haven't really heard before. Uh, and you describe some of the genre, but what are you going to do tonight for us, John? Uh, what are we going to do? Uh, I know love is all I need. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I said I. So it. yeah, it's most it's mostly like a combination of old country. Um, it has a twinge of rock, but Americana. Not really. Yeah, sort of Americana. Yeah, I think that, that Americana for, for our music is a little misnomer because Americana, I think, is, even though I've been calling it that for a number of years, it, it is more Appalachian, mm. and, you know, a Gillian Welsh would be Americana. Right, so but some people call the Grateful Rip Dead Williams. Americana, so it's morphed. I know what yeah, you're saying. They're high at the time. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you all are, too. <laughs> Different fan. But anyway, we will be back at the next, after the break, with Maura Finnegan and friends, John Finnegan and Andy Sandow. Hi, I'm Jim Marini. I'd like to save the date for the uh, seventh annual Onyx and Breezy Gala. It's going to be on October 15 at the Park Ridge uh, Marriott, Park Ridge, uh, New Jersey. The great Robert Klein will entertain along with music of Total Soul. I can't wait to see you there, and hopefully we can uh, raise a lot of money and continuing to help other animals in need. Bye bye. <laughs> Just wait. 
away for a while Always keeping our hearts in denial But the rules of the game are as such There's some things you never should rush But the way that you're looking tonight Was only a matter of time Before I got so overwhelmed I just could not help myself I said I love you I didn't mean to But the moonlight just gave me away Now that I said it Tried to forget it And pretend it was all a mistake I'll keep trying No denying This feeling that I know is true Stumbling and falling and still after all I keep falling in love with you <laughs> What's the point of this masquerade? After all of our cards have been played Now there's nothing left for me to hide I hope I have fate on my side Either way I have nothing to lose So surrender is all I can do And if you should be mine in the end I'll remember it all happened I said I love you, I didn't mean to The moonlight just gave me away Now that I said it, tried to forget it And pretend it was all a mistake I'll keep trying, no denying This feeling that I know is true Stumbling and falling and still after all I keep falling love with you stumbling and falling and still after all I keep falling in love with you say that again So I'm an orphan now, out here on my own, and it's hard to know where I belong. It comes as no surprise, it happens to us all, just like the sun will rise, night will fall. I know love is all I need. I know love is all I need I know love is all I need That's all I know An image I recall A picture of the wall Of my mother On her wedding day Young and naive, nothing up her sleeve, and the things that just got lost along the way. I know love is all I need. I know love is all I need. I know love is all I need. That's all I need. There's a voice I hear It comes in loud and clear It's my daddy's voice Teaching me He says to be a man You gotta be true to your word And when you make a stand You'll be heard I know love is all I need 
I know love is all I need. I know love is all I need. That's all I need. I can't see it in my children. I can't feel it with my wife. And I know it with these friends I have. So important to my life. I had a dream last night. I saw my mama and dad. They were happy, and I was glad. They had a brand new house on Upper Mountain Avenue. And when I awoke, they were gone again. I know love is all I need. I know love is all I need. I know love is all I need. That's all I know. Let me sing it again. Is that okay with you? Yes. I know love is all I need. I know love is all I need. I know love is all I need. That's all I know. Wanna take us out? Kitchen frying sauerkraut. Mama's in the bedroom, nearly all cried out. Daddy thinks that whiskey makes them big and small. Mama thinks that daddy's got a concrete heart. I wish I had a nickel now for every time I toss word. Busting up the windows with the baseball bat. Daddy's gone crazy as a bunkhouse rat. Mama's on the sofa. With a big black eye, I cross my heart and tell myself I hope they die. I wish I had a brother or a sister who too I could turn. Here we go. Madhouse or topsy turvy, a ship of fools with scurvy. I don't like to think about the way we live. Madhouse, old topsy-turvy A ship of fools with scurvy I don't like to think about the way we live Mama's on the pavement with the broken arm But telling everybody that it meant no harm Not talking about denial with the great pity You can try to fool the neighbors but you can't fool me I wish some kind of millionaire would come and drop me on the spot. Madhouse, old topsy turvy, a ship of food with scurvy. I don't like to think about the way we live. Ready? Madhouse, old topsy turvy, a ship of food with scurvy.
Thank you so much for tuning in for this episode of Arts Up Close. John Finnegan, Andy Sandell, part of Finnegan and Friends. If you see them booked anywhere in Montclair or the vicinity, come do on, come out. It's, yeah, it's a big, big show. And check our Facebook page, Arts Up Close. Thanks for tuning in. Lord Mary took the running with the traveling man. Left the mama crying with the head in the hand. It was a sad case. Broken hearted.